Hi there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And I was having an email discussion the other day with one of my subscribers, Jeffrey, and he was telling me that he's following the Bill Star 5x5 program, which is a fantastic strength and power building program. And he's been following it for uh, about nine weeks, I believe it was. And he said that he's really enjoys the program, has made good gains from the program, but now he's at the point where he's actually losing strength, meaning he can't even duplicate the weights, sets and reps that he was using in the previous weeks. And he, obviously he's very frustrated about this and wants to know what's going on. Well, this is actually a very common training situation. You know, you, you start a program, you're consistent with it, you're following it, you're, you're following the principle of progressive overload and gradually increasing your weights and, and work capacity week by week by week really you know riding that wave of momentum and feeling good about yourself and then all of a sudden you get to the point where it starts to get heavier you know you're, you're no longer making the same gains and then you kind of hit a plateau and then even worse then your strength starts to even go backwards you can't even match what you were lifting before and when this happens a lot of people start to freak out they're like what the hell is going on they think you know do i need to take supplements do i need to do something else you know and, and they just really start to freak out but you need to realize that this is a normal adaptive response within your body. You can't keep pushing yourself, you know, go, go, go over and over again forever. I mean, strength uh, and muscle gains are not linear. They don't just keep going up nonstop forever. It goes in cycles. It goes in waves. Uh, you're going to, you know, have a, a, a spurt, then you're going to have a, a drop off, and then you'll probably have another little mini spurt, maybe a plateau. <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. But ideally, what we're going to see is the long-term average is going to improve. And that's what you need to focus on. So again, getting back to uh, Jeffrey and his uh, training situation with the 5x5 program, what he needs to do at this stage is go through a deload phase. And deload simply means that you're going to back off the intensity, back off the volume, and allow your body to actively recover. You're not going to stop training entirely. You're just going to back off, you know, ease things up a little bit so that your body can handle the, the volume of training that you're doing and recover easily from it and basically build up its reserves so that you can push yourself again and make new gains. Now, there's a couple different ways to go through this. Uh, one is you can stick to the same program you're following and just lighten up the weights that you're lifting. So you can follow the exact same program, the same exercises, the same set and rep pattern, and just back off the weights by say 20%. So for example, if, if you're normally doing an exercise with 100 pounds, you're gonna back that off to 80 pounds, do the exact same number of sets and reps, and by doing it, it's gonna feel a lot easier. You're gonna be able to complete those sets and reps with that exercise, and, and at the end, you'll, you'll feel strong. You'll have energy in reserve. You'll say, well, dude, that's just, that was easy, <laughs> right? I, I can do a lot more but I don't want you to do more. I want you to purposely stop those sets short of failure and finish the workouts feeling strong and feeling like you have energy in reserve. And what this is going to do is allow your body to build up, allow your central nervous system to recover, uh, allow your muscles, joints, tendons, and ligaments to recover from the strain. And this is going to build up your reserve strength so that once you do start progressing again, you can build up to your previous level and then even surpass your previous level. So that's one way of going through a deload phase. Uh, another way that you can deload is to just change your program entirely. So let's say you're following the, the 5 by 5 program. Well, if you want, you can switch to something totally different. Maybe like a bodybuilding split routine or, or even a 10 by 10 program or, or, or something that's, that's totally uh, off the scale compared to what you're doing. And what you'll do in this case is when you start a brand new program, you generally should start it off light and conservative, get used to the new exercises and the new routine, and build yourself up gradually that way. So you have a deload kind of built in simply from switching programs. Because once you start that new program, you start off lighter, uh, go through the motions, and then week by week build it up. And in that transition phase, you're allowing your body and your central nervous system and everything else to recover from the stress of maxing out with the old program. And this is a way that you can, again, further progress and make gains. Uh, it's not that one style is right or wrong, it's just you have 
there, there's a lot of ways to go out there and, and build muscle. I mean, there's not like one program, the one magic program. There's a lot of different programs out there. And that's why it can be confusing sometimes. You really have to kind of zoom out, look at the big picture of what's going on and decide what is the best situation for you in this you know, particular case. Uh, in Jeffrey's case, he really liked that five by five program and I think he wants to continue with it. So what I suggested is, you know, stick with the same program, just back off the weights, go through several weeks of easy workouts and then follow the progressive overload building up week by week after that. And you should be able to get to the point where you're matching your previous best and then even surpassing it. And eventually you'll, you'll hit another plateau. I mean, it'll go in, in phases. You'll see peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. But again, the long-term average should be a slow climb. If you were to like graph it out on a chart, you would still see that slow linear climb, but in between, <laughs> there's gonna be some peaks and valleys along the way. And that's just the way it is. It's not you know, a, a true linear curve when you look at your strength and muscle gains over the long term. So hopefully this helps to uh, clarify your, your question, Jeffrey. And if you have any comments or feedback about this, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. I'll chat with you down there. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care, over and out. Now, if you'd like some help with your workout program and knowing when to cycle your training, when to push yourself, when to back off and deload, and all that kind of stuff, then this is something that I can personally help you with through the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Inner Circle Coaching Club. This is my private, members-only online community, and I'll personally follow along with your training and offer you tips, suggestions, and advice to help you maximize your progress. So if you'd like to become part of the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Inner Circle Coaching Club, just click on the link in the video description below or head on over to TotalFitnessBodybuilding.com for all the details.